Welcome to Tinkernut.com's video cast. This will be the final video in the series of how to create an ultimate mp3 collection. And what I'm going to cover in this video is how to correct or perfect your ID3 tags for the mp3. And all ID3 tags are is it it's, contains information about the mp3 and stores it in the mp3 itself. So if you're using iTunes, just right click on the MP3 and select Get Info, and this will allow you to change all the MP3's information, like a composer, track number, volume, you can add lyrics, and as I covered last time, you can change the album cover. Now, as I mentioned before, another great program for organizing your MP3's is called Media Monkey. So if you do a Google search for that, um, it will take you to their home page where you can download it. And what makes this program useful is that it automatically tags your mp3s by downloading all the information from the web including the album cover. So once it launches give it a second to import all of your mp3s and then just select the album or the mp3 that you want to adjust the ID3 tags for then select the first song, hold down shift and select the last song and that will select all of them. Then just right click on it and select auto tag from the web and it'll pull up a page like this with all the album's information and if there's something you don't want imported just uncheck the box otherwise at the bottom it shows you what it's going to import. Then just select auto tag and it will add everything including the album cover to the ID3 tags that are stored inside the MP3. Now when it comes to organizing your MP3s, about the best program that you'll find is a Linux based program called Amarok. And I've included a link at the bottom of the screen that shows you how you can run this on Windows if you're interested in it. But basically it, it, it's very informative as far as allowing you to edit the information and pulling it from the web. It automatically can pull the lyrics from the web it can pull Wikipedia information from the web things like that but this is uh, architecture in Helsinki this shows all the information that I have about them as far as what mp3s I have what album they're related to the percentage of what I've played from these albums and things like that and then there's also a lyrics tab at the at the top here that shows the lyrics for the current song that's playing and also Wikipedia information about the band Alright, well that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. For more, go to Tinkernut.com.